Good day, YouTubers. Uh, welcome back. Um, yeah, we're in this room here. This has me very suspicious. It's like this game has not ever provided a room like this with all this before. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Makes me believe we're like going to the last boss battle here, I think, probably. Take that. Take that. Like, is there no turning back after this? I don't know. Change. Give Rebecca first aid spray. Let's see. What else do we got? She's got 13 freaking acid rounds. Uh, I almost want to... Or, not that. I want to exchange these weapons here. It's like, I'd rather give Billy the... Um, hmm. Oh, we got... We can... Combine these... Give this all to Rebecca. I've got 123 bullets extra. Are you kidding me? What else we got here? We got some more shotgun shells. Those can... Man, I don't know what to do here. Pick those up. Got grenade rounds. Let's see. It's like Rebecca can't even take those, man. She's got so much crap going on. And then we still have herbs here. We got first aid for it. Can I just like take this and heal up? Just heal with Billy just so we have that. Um, is there anything else in this room? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Get this loaded up. Um, I got a first aid. Look, Billy's actually got two first aids. Um, Rebecca, she's loaded. I mean, this has got to be the end of the game here. Um, I don't know who I want to be. Rebecca, yeah, let's be Rebecca, I guess. Activate the lift. Let's go. Like, I just don't know where we go from here, you know? What? It's the queen! Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, damn thing's not dead. Of course it's not. We fight this thing on the lift? Well, that would have been uh, Birkin who activated the self-destruct. That's what he told Wesker. What the hell we do here? Okay, here's a video. Look at this thing. <laughs> well, there goes the lift. Good God. Oh, Jesus, we're here. All right, yeah, we're fighting this thing. Um... I got one more magnum. Use it. Oh god. We're just unloading, man. I don't know what we gotta do. Oh god. Like, what the hell is that thing? What is this thing? No, it won't even let me click on it. Um. I think my shotgun will reach that for it. Yeah, just get it, Billy. There we go. Is that it? Hell yeah. Die, Queen Leech. Oh, is the sun burning it? How the hell we do that? Oh, those eleven. Okay. Follow me. You work on the windows. God. I'll use my charm to extract your majesty. <sighs> 
Okay. Yeah, hold on, Queen Leech. Let me just uh, break out this gate operation manual. Let me read through this real quick. Can, do you mind? <laughs> God, it's so funny. Uh, to open the heliport in case of emergency, follow the procedures below. Removing the lock. There are four locking mechanisms in the room which must be activated in this order. Southwest side, northwest side, southeast side, west side. Turn each of the mechanisms handles to unlock the gate. Okay. So is Rebecca working on that? Um, I don't know if she should heal. She's got a first aid spray, though. Um, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so she's... I'm out of that ammo. Um, I do have grenade rounds. I think I have to protect Rebecca so she can open that up. I'm just unloading, man. Oh, God. Well, that one's all done. Well, I'm out of those. Um, crap, what do I do now? I ain't got no guns, man. I gotta go to Rebecca. Where the hell is she? She's down over here. I'm gonna use that because I need to get some weapons here. Give me all your bullets, Rebecca. Oh, we can swap this out too. Hold on. I'm just gonna unload on this thing. Rebecca's gotta go do her thing, I guess. I just gotta keep this thing distracted, I guess. Oh, God damn. Okay, it's, it's after me. Okay, she's on that one. Okay, good. I'm still fine. So she got that one. All right, yeah, keep going, Rebecca. We got what two more to do? Two more to do? Crap, is it after her now? It is. Shoot. Come on, get back here. Come on, man. Oh, she's going that way. Crap. Got it, ammo. Got him. God damn it. Dude, leave her alone. What do I do? Did I get its attention? Yeah, I did. Oh, go, 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 go! She's got three of them. One more, Rebecca. Come on. I'm just unloading, man. She's there. Come on, just unload that thing. Oh my god, I'm about to back up. Right? Yep, go back up. Oh. Crap. That's my health, that man. That caution. She got it. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Burn, Leech Queen, burn. Damn, is Rebecca hurt? I know she's good. Come on, Rebecca, finish it. Oh, she's giving it to Billy.
all these uh, Resident Evil games have such cheesy last lines, man. <laughs> I love it, though. Boom. Got your ass. Well, now it's getting... I was going to say, if it just falls down into the dark, it ain't going to die. But no, it ain't not surviving that. That's the facility thing, okay. That's pretty cool. So is that it? Did we do it, guys? I think so. He's throwing his marine tags away? What is he doing? I don't know what he just threw away. Uh, okay, that's the mansion from Resident Evil 1. That's the Spencer mansion. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Oh, she's keeping his tag, okay. Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cullen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now. So that's cool. She's letting him go. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay, so now this is the start of Resident Evil 1 here. Okay, this is pretty cool. Yeah, that's it, guys. Man, that was Resident Evil 0. Yeah, turn the audio off here. All right, let's see if we get any bonus items, any... Uh, Special uh, prizes here. We gotta wait for these credits to roll. Uh, damn, well, I wasn't expecting uh, this last video here to be so short. I, yeah, that was then guy. Queen Leech defeated, incinerated. And actually, William Birkin helped out with that. He's the one that set the, the um, alarm to blow up that whole facility. So he actually gets an assist with this. But yeah, this is a very, very rough game, man. Like, I, I loved it. Um, again, I can still say there's not been a single Resident Evil game that I've played that I did not like. I love them all, man. All for different reasons. And this was the first Resident Evil game that didn't have the item box. And that was super tricky and complicated to deal with throughout this whole game. Is the item management. And just where to kind of hoard all your items and like see like that whole train that whole like uh, train cart part there uh, toward the end of this game before we got to the factory area. It's like yeah we never even went back there so whatever you left there you're not ever seeing again. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you kind of have to be really careful about where you leave your items and when and where because it's just you don't ever know when you're going to go into another area that you're not going to be able to access anymore. And even when we fought that tyrant, that's so cool that they brought the tyrant from number one, the end guy to number one, um, back into this game. So Rebecca had to deal with it. Rebecca and Billy, actually. We had to go through two phases of that tyrant. And that was actually a pretty cool battle in that because that definitely explains why Jill's boss battle fight with that thing in Resident Evil 1 was so easy. Um, if you remember, um, all the way back when I played Resident Evil 1 as Jill, like, it only took, like, 10 handgun bullets to kill that tyrant, and she was, like, out of there and on the helicopter and game over, and I was just like, what the hell, that was, like, the weakest boss battle of all time, and now this kind of explains why, because Billy and Rebecca kind of, like, already went through two rounds dealing damage to this thing, 
And so must be at some point Wesker must have come across this and put the tyrant back into the tube. So then that way when Jill meets it there and releases it from the tube again, it's not fully healed. That, that's got to explain that, I bet. But then again, it's like when you play as Chris, though, in Resident Evil 1, you battle the tyrant twice because then he comes, like, crashing up through the hel heliport area and then he's, like, a, a madman to deal with. you got to need a freaking rocket launcher to take him out. So I don't know how they explain explain Chris's scenario with this game. I guess it's more geared toward explaining Jill's scenario. So, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, the boss battles on this were pretty cool. They were all something to do with, like, insects or animals. Uh, we battled that giant scorpion on the train. Um, then we had to deal with that damn giant centipede in the facility area. Uh, then what we have to deal with? Oh, we had to deal with that giant bat um, that was like in the courtyard church area. Um, and then I think it was the tyrants, the two battles with the tyrant and then the leech monster here. We had two battles with the leech monster, which was Dr. Marcus. So that was actually cool too, how they explained uh, Dr. Marcus's backstory and how he survived this whole time with the leech growing inside of him. And then it also shows, I also loved like the backstory it gave with uh, Birkin and Wesker and like how like Wesker was getting geared up to lure all the stars members into the mansion. And I love that they showed the mansion at the end as the final scene. It's like, it just makes me want to go through and play Resident Evil 1 all over again. And actually the funny thing about this, um, this disc that I have, it's like the Resident Evil collection. This one has Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1 remake on this. So I'm going to get to the remakes at some point. Um, I, I decided I'm going to save like the Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 4. I think there's just four remakes. I'm going to play all those remakes after I beat like all the other Resident Evils in the main series. Like I still have to get through. Um, let's see. So now I beat. Uh, Resident Evil 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and Code Veronica. So I still have to play uh, number 6, number 7, number 8. I think number 7 is called like Biohazard and number 8 is called The Village. Uh, but then I still have to play the Resident Evil Revelations. There's like two of those. Okay, here we are. So I don't know which one I'm going to play next. We got a rank D. Are you kidding me? That's so bad. So we had 125 kills, 612 shots, 28 recoveries, and 22 saves. Took me almost 10 hours to beat this game. 9 hours, 52 minutes. Uh, I'm no speedrunner, guys. I'm just playing these for the first time, just trying to survive. Okay, so cut me some slack. Uh, what is this, a Leech Hunter? You can now play Leech Hunter. What the hell is a Leech Hunter? I love when they give bonus stuff like this. Oh, it's so awesome. You can now play Wesker mode. Oh, Rebecca's like in a different costume too. That's pretty cool. That's like the Wesker from Resident Evil 5. So, yeah, let's overwrite that one. So it's Billy zero zero clear, okay. Just want to take a look here. I wish it told me if I uh, got all the documents and stuff like that. I felt like I did. Okay, so if we do extras, gallery. Oh, there's a wait. What is this? That's oh, just a manual. Gallery. Oh, we got 98% complete on the gallery. Are you kidding me? Oh, these are just like the videos. Okay. Hatched cab. I'm missing this one. What the hell was this one, I wonder? Entrance. Yeah, these are all just videos that happened in the game. Like, how did I miss this one then? 
Hmm. There must have been like an alternate route I could have took that triggered a video cutscene, I bet you. Yeah, that's the only one I'm missing too, damn it. What the hell? I wonder what the hell is on that. Hmm. Interesting. It's something early in the game on the train. Find the brake. And then break engaged. Yeah, there must have been like an alternate route I could have took with Billy to trigger a cutscene, I bet you. That's pretty cool. Um, credits. What the hell's Wesker mode, man? Now you can play as Wesker. Hold zero release to perform a forward dash. Death stare. While aiming, hold square and release to perform a long distance attack. Hold longer for more power. Press circle while dashing to stop. <laughs> what? Okay, so yeah, it's just going to restart and you just play as Wesker, I guess. That's kind of... I just want to see what this is really quick. Oh, well, see, yeah, Rebecca's in a whole new outfit, too. That's pretty cool. What's she get? She got, like, an infinite rocket launcher or anything? No, nothing. Okay, so yeah, when we come across uh, Billy, it's instead of Billy, it's going to be Wesker. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I like Rebecca's outfit here. Is she wearing, like, that thing that Jill had on her chest, too? That's kind of funny. Uh, all right, conspirators, uh, we're going to wrap up this whole series. Um, thank you guys for watching um, Resident Evil Zero. Uh, this game was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know what I'm going to play next. Um, don't know if I'll continue on with Resident Evil or if I'll play something else, but um, I'll be back very soon. So until then, conspirators, uh, stay charming. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this series. I know I did. Um, I've, I've loved every single one of these Resident Evil games I've played so far, so it's been a lot of fun. And I'm glad I've uh, been able to share this experience with you guys. So until then, uh, this is the Elegant Villain signing off. And hope you guys have a good day. And we'll be back soon, guys.